Take it easy, buddy. Hey guys, Dusty Baker with Cross Timbers Bison. Welcome back to our channel. Thank you for watching. Got the old working paddle. If you see this, you know it's time to work some bison. Gotta get our boy here, Lumpy. It's a big day for Lumpy. Lumpy and I are gonna head to my alma mater, Oklahoma State University in Stillwater, Oklahoma. And we are taking Lumpy to the vet. He is going to get an ultrasound on the old lump, on the hernia. I've gotta get him in our working area. He's all, we've also got four other yearling bulls with him we're gonna get him in there and then i gotta get him on the trailer and we gotta head north let's uh let's get lumpy rounded up come on lumpy let's go did i mention this could be a challenge as well uh, if he'll follow those bulls we'll be okay easy up fellas here we go that's eleanor's bull in case you guys are wondering Just so you know. All right, Lumpy, it's gonna be me and you, man. Ah. Awesome. where we want him heck yeah there we go out of boy lumpy a little more difficult than i thought but we got him right there that's good Now that I've got Lumpy in here by himself, it worked out pretty well. He doesn't always just kind of solos himself versus those bulls, so that worked out. Now I've got to hook up the trailer and back it up right here and uh, for our loadout, and that'll be a little bit more challenging. So here's our loadout area right here. I've got to back the trailer up, and then we'll get him right there. Taking the bumper pull today, Daniel, my brother-in-law. I'm going to take his bumper pull. We'll kind of share it with each other, but... This bumper pull was the same one we used to actually rescue Lumpy. There's the long trailer, the 24 foot. I can haul a lot more in it. Don't need that today. This is all we need for Lumpy right here. Gonna get her hooked up and head out. It's always important to close this gap. I'm trying to squeeze in here. You want to close these gaps as much as you can. I got about four or five inches there. Squeeze it down. You don't want them to see any light in the gap because that's where they want to run through. And that's what you want. There's still a little bit of light there, but there's this bar you just try to get as close as you can. It's actually hitting it, so we're good. All right, so here's the tough part. I'm doing this by myself. I'm gonna try to do it by myself. Our boy is right over there. He's waiting on me. I don't think he's too excited, but got this ready. Now what you typically need is you have a rope attached to this gate. And when they come through, you can either have somebody standing right here behind this to push it, or you have a rope. Somebody stands here and pulls it and it shuts. With bison, you need slam latch gates so that whenever you shut it it automatically latches or you can have a sliding gate i may just try the sliding gate here but um i just need to get him in there so uh we'll see how this goes change up a couple of things here so 
I went ahead and went with the sliding gate. I thought maybe it's a little safer for me because I'm by myself and instead of running up here and shutting the entire gate, I can just run up here and use the sliding gate and just slide it across. This little space here will hopefully keep him in. It's just dangerous to come over here and try to swing that gate around because once they see some light or a way out, that's where they're gonna go. So hopefully he just goes right here and I can get in there and slam it. So we'll see. All right, buddy, come on, easy. Easy. Easy, buddy. Success. We got him. Sometimes it just works out like that way, but he's a little crazier than the last time he was in this trailer. Last time he was pretty drugged up, so um, <laughs> he's a little worked up right now. Anytime they're by themselves, especially. Plus, he's just a little bit different cat. Remember, he was living with cattle for a while, so he'll calm down once we get going down the road. Oh, Dunbar, look at you. What are you doing? Oh, peeing and rolling again. Oh, this is your house, isn't it? I know. This is your house. My bad. Don't let Lumpy get to you, okay? Ooh, look at you getting all feisty, riled up. <laughs> Dunbar, you're a mess, man. Hey. Hey, buddy. Hey. Hey. He, he has no challenge for you, I promise you. You ain't got to worry about Lumpy. Wow, well, everybody's all getting worked up. It's funny how they know those things. We are still water bound. You ready, Lumpy? All right, buddy. Let's go see what we can do for you. Hey guys, we made it to Stillwater, Oklahoma. We're at the large animal hospital side of the whole vet facility, vet clinic, vet campus of Oklahoma State. Lumpy's in here doing his thing seems like he's calmed down a little bit and resting so we're gonna pull through here get him unloaded and we'll go from there come on buddy
Yeah. All right, well, we had a good visit. Lumpy and I are gonna head home. Easy, easy, big boy. Hey, we just got you looked at. Quit getting feisty on me. Hey, very good. I think he's ready to get home. He's pretty uh, ticked off, but I'm gonna tell you guys kind of the results of uh, the ultrasound and let you know how it went. Obviously couldn't film anything inside, so I'll tell you about it. Um, but Lumpy and I are gonna take a stroll around campus. You can't come to Stillwater without going to campus. So he's gonna see the football stadium. He's gonna see the practice facility. He's gonna see the college. I mean, it's beautiful, beautiful campus. You're in Stillwater, you gotta take a bison through campus, Oklahoma State. Here we go. Well, I want to give you the update on Lumpy and how everything went. So it's always good to visit Stillwater. It's been a while since I've actually been to the vet school. I went there when I was a student and got to go to the large animal side. So we went up there, we unloaded, Lumpy did great. Well, a couple of things that I really liked about it is there was a bucking bull. They had like three hydraulic systems in their squeeze chutes and there was a bucking bull that they were working on. And there was a couple of people over there, but when I first got there, I had a meeting with them. I explained everything that was going on with Lumpy, how we rescued him and all that. Bison are, are a ruminant. Uh, they're a grazer. They're just like cattle as far as the stomach. So they got four stomachs. With that, what probably happened was just like Doc said, he was gored more than likely. Uh, didn't damage the outside. As you can tell, it's just the lump that sticks out. But the inner wall of the muscle tissue that keeps the intestines in and the stomach in was ripped at some point when he was gored, more than likely. And then one of them stomachs of the four has came out into that, which is a hernia. Hey guys, sorry, I had a little technical issue with my camera and I didn't realize that until I got home. So I just wanna wrap this up for you real quick, but one of the cool experiences that I didn't know it was gonna be like was when we got there, like I said, there was a bucking bull over on the, there's three hydraulic chutes and the bucking bull was on one side, but whenever Lumpy got in there and we, we got him in the squeeze chute, all these students gravitated towards us and just a lot of the people that was part of the vet clinic that day at the large animal hospital, they all kind of gravitated in there. I was like, there's like 15 or people or so in there, but that's what I thought was awesome. And and uh, I liked the fact that all those students came to see and everybody came to see, yes, he has a crazy massive hernia lump on the side of his body, but they're not used to seeing bison in the clinic, uh, especially the students I haven't got to be able to get their hands on the bison. And so that to me as a teacher was a big deal. So not only did Lumpy get checked out today, it was just a fun experience uh, for the students to see a bison up that close and some of the other people there were part of that 
they're hands-on and learning and I'm all about hands-on. I think that's one of the best ways to learn. And I've always tried to use that as a teacher when I was teaching for 10 years. Unfortunately, we're not gonna do the surgery with Lumpy. They checked the ultrasound out and she really looked at it for about 15 or 20 minutes. The wound is that bad, guys. And um, it's gonna be one of those deals where it's gonna be really expensive. There's a lot of problems that could occur actually with some things that they could try. They talked about doing the wrapping or like a, like a mesh that you could put over the wound and then the, the risk of infection setting in inside of him could could be a lot of a lot of problems they'd have to keep him overnight you don't want to keep bison overnight because they're so social it's it just wouldn't go well so we're not going to do the surgery we're going to keep lumpy at the farm we're going to take care of him you know if he keeps eating grain grass and hay and drinking water and all those things are fairly normal he's going to have to live with the the lump unfortunately you know what at least he's at the farm and at least we can take care of him and uh, he's in a good place and you guys know that we'll take good care of him thank you for watching thank you for being a part of this i just also want to thank oklahoma state of course it's my alma mater a special place to me but it's one of the best vet schools there is in the nation and uh you know it's two hours away from the ranch uh, i just want to thank them for taking the time out and and taking a look at lumpy and you know just a fun experience having those students and those professionals being there just want to thank the doctor for looking and checking him out and being honest with me and saying here's the deal here's what you can do here are your options so we all came to an agreement and uh, we're moving on we'll keep you updated on lumpy he's still going to be a part of the channel we'll keep on keeping on with everything and taking care of these animals and our boy lumpy thank you guys for watching